Hello friends, I'm here today to share with you um, kind of a recent reads video, I guess. The last, last 10 books that I did was in February. Um, so this is going to kind of be like the end of February and all of March. Um, it's not too, too many books. I don't feel like because I was in a bit of a slump in March, but I'm going to go ahead and share with you. I'm not going to do full reviews. If you want any thoughts, let me know down below. I'd be glad to kind of expand on things, but this is just going to be, oh, I went real country there. <clears throat> this is just going to be kind of a quick update video. So, um, first was Sweet Talking Lover by Tracy Livesey. Um, this one I gave four stars. It was a cute, um, kind of like city girl to small town romance. Um, I wasn't exactly what I thought it was going to be from Girls Trip series, but yeah. <coughs> now I like don't even know how to like do short things. <laughs> I don't even know what I want to say. Um, next was Undeniable by Melanie Harlow. I believe it's book two in her Cloverly Farm series. Um, I gave this one three stars. I didn't love either of the main characters. I don't know how many chances you give somebody um, who just like, continuously breaks your heart over and over again. Um, next was Like Lovers Do by Tracy Livesey. This is in that same series. Um, I gave this one four stars. It's a kind of a friends to lovers and I did like that this one was actually on a trip which is what I expected from all of the books. Next was In Bed with a Highlander by Maya Banks. I gave this one four stars. Um, I liked it a lot. Um, I liked the premise. It was just kind of insta-lovey. Um, next is Seduction of a Highland Lass by Maya Banks. I gave this one five stars. I loved the draw between the two main characters and how they wanted to do the right thing for their clan, but that they really wanted to be with each other. Loved it. Finally, the last book of February was Never Love a Highlander by Maya Banks. Um, I liked this one a lot too. I gave it four stars. Um, I was, I think I was more interested in seeing the, like the series plot come together in the final book, but I did like it. Um, starting off March was The Perks of Loving a Wallflower by Erica Ridley. I gave this one four stars. I really liked the romance in it. Um, it was just all of the like outside stuff of the romance I felt like that was a little lackluster for how much I guess like emphasis it got in the book then I read Her Royal Highness by Rachel Hawkins I gave this one five stars I really loved it um it was super cute which doesn't really make sense because it's an enemies to lovers but um yeah it was super cute I really enjoyed it I really liked the dynamic of the main couple then I read Look the Part by Julie Ann. I don't know what took me so long to get to a Julie Ann book. Um, I gave them five stars. I loved the main characters. I loved their like banter. Um, I loved their like draw to each other. Yes, this was so good and I can't wait to pick up more by her. Next was The Path to Sunshine Cove by Ryan Thane. Um, I gave this one four stars. I enjoyed it a lot. It was a super cute like small town uh, romance, um, and it really gave me Jill Chalvis vibes with her Wildstone series, which I really liked, so. Okay, my books fell, so sorry if this looks a little different. Um, where was I at? Oh, yeah. I read Again the Magic by Lisa Klebus. I have a series vlog on this. Um, I don't think it's my best series vlog, but I think it does kind of give you my thoughts a little bit more about this. Um, I gave this one four stars. Um, I read Ice Planet Barbarians. I also have a vlog reading this. Um, I ended up giving this one three stars. Uh, Secrets of a Summer Night by Lisa Klepis. I ended up giving four stars. It Happened One Autumn. I ended up giving four stars. Devil in Winter. I ended up giving four stars. The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams. I ended up giving it three stars. I did not love this one. Um, it was a friends to lovers, but they were both very attracted to each other throughout their whole friendship. And that's just not how I like my friends to lovers. I like for it to be kind of a like, oh, I really, oh, like I'm attracted to you. Kind of like a surprise type thing. So, uh, Scandal in Spring by Lisa Clavis. I gave five stars. 
and Devil in Disguise, also by Lisa Kleypas, I gave three stars. And finally, the last book that I read in March was Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tess Bailey. I ended up giving this one five stars. I loved this so much. Uh, Fox and Hannah are just, they're just the sweetest, you know? You know? And it also had kind of like that music element, which I really like in my books. Um, she's a big music person, and so like he learns to like music or not learns to like it but like I don't know if you've read it you know what I'm talking about anyway I gave it some five stars I loved it so now we are caught up um back to the beginning of April which is I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing last tens I really like doing them but honestly it's too much <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say um, we'll probably just do April wrap or monthly wrap ups from now on, but yes, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all next time. Bye.